Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to put a new light module into this car. Now, I'm pretty sure standard in this car, it comes with the LM2 module, but looking at the service history, or the receipts that I've got with the car, it seems this was changed at some point, and I'm assuming that the, uh, the garage that did the work just put an LM1 in there. So, you've got the LM2, and we're just going to get this fitted. Um, Again, it's not a big thing, but it cost me 35 quid on eBay. And what I allow for is the welcome home lights. At the moment, we've got automatic lights on the car. I'll put a video clip in, but it doesn't matter whether it's day or night, they stay on. So it should solve that issue. Um, on my old car, I quite liked having the unlock and lock sound verification. So it would beep once for, um, I think, locking and twice for unlocking or vice versa. So we're just going to go ahead and get that fit and that will be the uh, first part of this video. So that should be pretty interesting to see what we can code into this car. But the main thing is the lights and the um, yeah the, the, the locking verification. And, and I'm not sure if we can cancel the seatbelt noise. That would kind of be okay as well. Um, just because I remember once I had something in the passenger seat and it was just beeping away. But it was just like a package. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. As we can see here, the uh, automatic lights are supposed to be on. And it is very clear blue skies. If you check, the full beam is on. Um, so yeah, the car's also very dirty from all this hard desert stuff. Hi guys, so you join me later in the evening. Um, so I actually have some news. So the LM2, well, the LM1 that I thought was in the car, the light module, turns out the LM2 was actually already in the car. So I probably should have checked that before I went out and bought another another module but it turns out all the stuff hadn't been coded properly and that's why we couldn't have the welcome home lights and acoustic lock locking etc so um, we did struggle a bit for the coding but um we fixed it all now and actually you can kind of enable it and then um access it through the iDrive system so we're going to quickly look at what's in the iDrive system what we've enabled um before we go outside and have a walk around so just walking through this if you go through to the information settings vehicle and tires and then yeah so we've got light and on here we've got the welcome home lights which is what we wanted um door locks uh that's all fine and confirmation and that's where you want visual signal for locking visual signal for locking that's fine and acoustic sig signal for locking and acoustic signal for unlocking and that's what's been enabled through the coding so i'm just gonna walk outside now and we're gonna go ahead and look at what what this looks like just before I show you the outside clip, I'm just demonstrating here that I actually the, the coding in the daytime. So even though the automatic lights were on, when I go outside now, the main bulbs are off and the actual angel lights are on, but they're not visible in the day because they're not bright enough. All right, guys, we've just hopped outside the car and I'm going to go ahead and show you what we've coded into the car. So first, welcome home lights and the acoustic noise for unlocking. It's the little things that count. This makes me so happy because I haven't been able to have it on. Um, so that's the welcome home lights. It brings on the halos and the full beam. Obviously, this has to be an automatic headlights for this to happen. And on the back, then we've just got the uh, the turn signals on just to illuminate the back as well as the license plate lights. And that all goes off after a while. And then when we want to lock the car, this just does the acoustic noise, which is what I wanted. Um, so that's basically everything I wanted. We did try and do the um, side marker lights, like the US, on daytime running, but we couldn't get that to work. So, but, you know, it wasn't exactly necessary. It's not exactly what I wanted. It was thought it would be cool for a short time, but, yeah. Just thought I'd make this quick, short video for you guys. I appreciate it's not too long, but, again, this is the 650i journey. I thought it was worth making a short video on, um, just so when we go into... The next few videos you might not notice the coding especially with the acoustic sound so you've got the daylight uh, the daytime sort of automatic lights working acoustic uh sounds for locking and locking and then the um welcome home lights uh, if you made it this far in the video make sure to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions i'll feel happy to answer and also ramadan is in april so i might be slacking on the videos during april time but we'll see what we can do hopefully looking to get the max dent side skirts on and um, a wheel refurb and calibers painted in the next few videos i know not many people will make it this far in the video so just a quick 
teaser slash spoiler um, for the upcoming content. Thanks for guys for watching. Appreciate every time. Peace out.